I'm gonna whoop your ass because I'm sick of this shit. Looks like I'm talking about the crater today. Now, here's the thing about the crater. There is literally an infinite number of possibilities on what could have caused it, so I think the best way to start this off would be talking about the things that couldn't have caused it. Starting off strong, there is absolutely no way that the humans managed to cause that explosion. A lot of people were talking about how they were saying they made mistakes while displaying the destroyed Earth. And yes, they did make mistakes considering that they were directly responsible for its destruction with the mushroom bomb, but there was no way they were directly involved in terms of the explosion that caused the crater. Now, the reason I believe this is simply due to the fact that they did not have the technology technology necessary to do something like that at the time. You need to remember that after the mushroom bomb, all hell broke loose. When the Lich was unleashed, he possessed an entire undead army which killed thousands. Pretty much every form of government dissolved within the year, and the remaining humans were either dead, dying, or mutated. Even the survivors who were somehow able to get to the island came via boats, which were made out of wood, and a couple had decent submarines, which were scavenged, not built. Even on the island, it took him centuries in order to get their technology anywhere close to how it was at the beginning of the story. And I know some of you are probably going to bring up how there was a secondary mushroom explosion, however I do not believe that was from the humans but by the Lich himself considering he has shown the ability to cause such massive explosions by utilizing his well of power. And even if they possessed the technology necessary in order to cause damage like that, why would they utilize it to knock out a full 10% of the planet? And what could they possibly have found in order to cause that much destructive ability if the mushroom bomb, which was very recent, and housed the essence of the Lich, which is literally the embodiment of evil, and it wasn't even a tenth as powerful as that explosion. Moving on was the idea that it was a catalyst comet. Many people believe that around this time, Finn's catalyst comet hit the Earth sometime after the mushroom bomb, which makes sense considering this does take place a thousand years before the main story. Whether it was Finn or not, this doesn't really change the fact that I still believe this is improbable. The catalyst comet hits Earth every 1,000 years and has been doing so since the dinosaurs. This means that there are thousands of catalyst comets that are unaccounted for, and not a single one did as much damage as that explosion to the Earth. The green catalyst comet managed to destroy all of the dinosaurs and did cause some disasters, but nowhere near to the point of destroying a full quarter of the planet nearly. We also know that depending on what exactly the comet embodies, it will have a different effect on the planet. So the entire idea that this is Finn and the comet managed to destroy an entire section despite being the comet of good, I just don't see it happening. One thing that should be noted is that in Farm World, a timeline where the bomb never went off, this never occurs. Meaning that the explosion that destroyed a good portion of the world is directly responsible responsible to some degree to the mushroom bomb. And as many types of subjects on this channel, we have to talk about the Lich. Considering the Lich around this time was trying his best in order to create a particular ritual which would have allowed him to consume the entire planet, it's possible that this may have been a byproduct of that. However, this doesn't work either because Princess Bubblegum flat out stated that before he could even begin the ritual, Billy managed to defeat him. It couldn't have been Kokon Tepi because he was defeated millions of years prior to the main story, and it couldn't have been Orgolor because in the flashback we see that he simply transformed into Gunther and then fell into the ocean. So the amount of options I'm left with in order to figure out exactly what happened to the planet are incredibly low. However, I actually do possess a theory based on what we see from the crater. In the episode Sons of Mars, we actually see the crater for the first time as well as debris that came from the explosion. And surprisingly, the debris seems to be all manner of food. Now you may be thinking I'm just going crazy and just grabbing whatever I can, but listen, this actually is somewhat important. Every single piece of food that we end up seeing seems to possess some attributes to one of the elements being slime, candy, ice, and fire. The reason this is important is due to the fact that we see all of these foods within the flashback and thought process of the old tart torter. And here's the thing, we have no idea exactly when the explosion takes place, only that it takes place after the original mushroom bomb. And considering the old tart torter seems to have some insight into this particular event, even though he's not even as ancient as Princess Bubblegum herself, tells me something pretty interesting. What if Princess Bubblegum attempted to create her own super weapon by tangling with forces she didn't fully understand and the results were devastating? Now this wouldn't be the first crime against humanity as well as the entire planet that she's done so far, but at the same time I still find her destroying a good portion of the planet pretty unlikely. This would explain all the candy based debris, but aside from that, there really isn't too much to really tether her to this particular event. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Sorry if this one's way shorter than what I typically do, it's just there's really not too much to go on. Throughout the entire show, there's not really a single example of people putting emphasis on what happened there. So unfortunately, I gotta end the video here. So if you like videos like this and other deep dives that are actually pretty decent in length, be sure to like, subscribe, go down to my other social media platforms, Forms, and if you have an idea for a video, be sure to leave it down below and we'll select it by democracy. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Torter. Oh, tart tart. The old tart tart.
the old tart tartar, 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 tartar.